First thing is burn the sets. Now, sets is a group of people that I'm gonna approach, right? Might be girls, guys together. Now, I don't mean just, you know, light them up on fire. That, that does not mean burn the sets. So what I mean by burn the sets is, basically you say so much more obnoxious shit. You say so much shit that you get out of your mind completely. All right? Now, how do you do that? Uh, burning the set, I'll burn the first five sets initially. How do I do that? A girl asked me, what do you do? I sell aborted fetuses. <laughs> you know, that shit doesn't even make sense. But I'm saying this and I'm reinforcing in my mind that, you know, I can get away with anything. Because the girl won't hit me, she'd be like, huh, what? Yeah, it's a delicacy in China, I'm trained to be a chef. If you want, you come over to my place, we'll get a fetus and we'll abort it and we'll cook it. <laughs> you know, any fucking thing, it's, it's a fun thing, the girl can get instantly hooked. Right, I've hooked girls on this as well. Now, this is how you burn the sets. Once you burn the sets, what will happen is, you're reinforcing a belief in your mind that, you know, you can say anything and you can get away with anything. So I obviously I would play on the edge, you know, to know what, what really can I say and how much can I get away with initially in the night so that I'm completely out of my mind, right? I'm not thinking about what is gonna happen next and I'm just having fun, so much fun, right? And it's all about fun. The interactions should be everything about fun. Once you're burning the sets, what you wanna do next is a back-to-back -back approach. And there's a reason why do you wanna do a back-to-back -back approach is to get out of your complete thought pattern, right? Once you're burning one set, you'll go to another set. You don't fucking go out to the bar, get a drink, or you know, start smoking a cigarette at that time. It'll get you inside your head. So, you're talking to, you're burning one set, you're going towards another set, you're going towards another set, you're taking so much action that you're completely cutting down your thinking. Huh? When people notice you in the club. I mean, if you're doing it in the right way, you know, club has a lot of packed people. So you can do it in one location, then shift the fucking location. And people won't notice you. If you're, if you're having so much fun, right, people would notice you, but they won't know if there's something wrong if you're approaching so many people. They would think that you're just fucking around and having, you know, these are your friends. That's what people think, actually. So, uh, back to back, just go back to back and, you know, talk to a lot of people. Cut down your thinking completely. And once you cut down your thinking, you don't care what the other person thinks about you. You don't care how many people are going to look at you. You don't care about how many people are going to judge you at that point. So just do the back-to-back -back approaches and instantly you'll get in the fucking state. Next thing is wing dares. Now if I were a wing man, I would set some dares with him. I would tell him to do things that I would not personally do. He would tell me to do things he would not personally do. Like there's a husband and a wife, I'll tell him to fucking approach the wife. Right? If there's a, if there's a family set, there's a mother and a daughter, he would tell me to approach the daughter, right? Now what it does is it expands our mind really, it really grows our game. Why? Because we are, you know, we're going out, we're getting so much shit that we have to figure out, right? So we're solving basically issues. We're basically solving issues over here and we're learning. So we're learning so much because we have to put ourselves in uncomfortable situations where we have never put ourselves in. And that's how you learn. In game, that's how you learn. You always push it to the bitter end and then you know what the edge is for you and then you keep on expanding that, expanding that, expanding that by putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. So wing dares is a big one. If you have a wingman, it's amazing. If you don't, that should not fucking stop you from going out. Another one, if I'm really not feeling like it, like uh, earlier I had this internship I was doing as a chef, right? 17 hours of work, I'm fucked up. I'm completely fucked up. I can't even stand in a club because my feet are paining, right? So I go to a club because my friends, they're like, dude, let's just go to a club, you know? Let's, it's Saturday night. We're staying at home almost seven nights. So let's just go. So I'm like, okay, man, let's fucking go. There was four months of my life really pathetic. So I go to the club and I'm really not feeling like it. I'm really not in the social mood. Every, all day I have to stand and you know, cut, cut vegetables and whatnot. So now, now I'm in the fucking, in the fucking club. I don't want to talk to girls because, you know, I'm tired. I'm tired out of my mind. So what I do is basically talk to guys. Make it easier for yourself. Talk to guys. But do not use this as an excuse that, oh my God, he said talk to guys, so now I'm a gay person. Do not do that, all right? Talk to guys till, till you get in the social momentum, till you get in the social zone, and then you can figure out, you know, then you can start talking to girls. So in boot camps, you also do this. If you're not comfortable really in talking to uh, girls first, we make you approach some guys, get you in the comfortable social momentum, and then you talk to girls. <laughs>